everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this month is still my reserve month as a flight attendant. So I have to bid today for tomorrow. I have something in the works that I'm hoping is gonna work out. I don't wanna tell you guys yet because I don't wanna get your hopes up, but if it works out, I will let you know tomorrow. But I have something in the works that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Right now it's actually around 107. So you have to submit bids by three and then usually sometime around like four to five, they announce what you got. So I'm gonna go ahead and start meal prepping because I am good for a three day trip. So I'm gonna go ahead, get some food together that I'm gonna take on my trip tomorrow. But there is also something I wanna show you guys. So welcome to our spare bathroom. I absolutely love it in here. I love all of the plants and all the, just the decor and everything. But one of the things you may notice about this bathroom is we have no towels. <laughs> so we're gonna fix it. We are gonna fix it today because I have a very special gift from Brooke Lennon who I do wanna go ahead and thank for sponsoring today's video. They have hooked your girl up, saved her from a lifetime of embarrassment. We are gonna be fixing this bathroom and giving it a little touch, a little finesse, if you will. <laughs> so everything that you see here is actually part of Brooke Lennon's super plush towel move in bundle. I couldn't even help myself. Like I already ripped open the packaging as soon as I got here and I was just like touching them and they're so soft. So instead of buying individual pieces, you can actually save money by buying a move-in bundle. And this all includes two hand towels as well as four large bath towels. And then there's also four washcloths and a bath mat. And everything is made from 100% Turkish cotton and it's extra thick for spa-like comfort. Now, I personally love that traditional white spa towel. It just speaks to my soul. But Brooklyn also has a wide selection of different colors and patterns. So you can find something that is going to fit your particular style. Their products are tried and true. There is a reason they have over 80,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any online bedding company company and their bedding is absolutely fabulous. So now I'm excited to add in their towels. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. So if you want to shop Brooklyn in today, head down to my description box below and use the code CAT and that is CAT with a K and that will get you $20 off your orders over $100. Thank you to Brooklyn in for sponsoring today's video and for just providing amazing towels and bedding. Now let's get back into packing for the rest of the trip. Right now it's 5 a.m. <laughs> um, Allie is the only person in the world who could convince me to do a trip with such an early sign in that I would have to be up at 5 a.m. on purpose. <laughs> We're starting a three day trip. Allie let me know that she is actually going to be on a layover in Newark, New Jersey. So she asked me to see if I could get one as well so we could hang out and I did. But unfortunately, this is basically the only thing <laughs> that was available. Today, we are just gonna be working one flight. We are going from Dallas to Newark, and that is it, which is good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my coffee, start getting ready, and we need to be out of here in like 45 minutes because I was not about to give myself more time of that. There's no way I'm getting up at four something. <laughs> Thanks, Chip Chip. 
see that you guys it is early and it is cold i saw like some of my friends post in charlotte and there's so much snow there right now but we just got to the airport i'm about to head in and get through security we have about 45 minutes before our sign in time which is plenty of time to do all of that and maybe we can find a little bit more coffee to get our morning going ali has already messaged me that she is on the way on her flight so she's going to beat me there and once i land to get to the hotel she's going to come meet me at our hotel so let's go ahead and head inside and get ready I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more So we have officially made it. Welcome to Newark, New Jersey. You guys, this room is sick. It is huge and it is very nice. And I want to show you guys, cause I'm like, this me, are you, are you sure this is for me? So let me just, let me give you a little tour. When you first come in, you have the whole living room, but then when you come over here, you have an entire kitchen like my own microwave. You guys, this almost never happens anymore. And a real fridge. A real one. So my food is actually gonna stay cold. I can actually like warm it up like I am living. We have one closet over here. So nice. And then when you start walking this way, you have the bed. And then I was like, wait a minute, what is this? There's a whole other section. So you come over, there's another closet over here big old closet and then there's a whole sink right here like plenty of space to get ready set everything out really nice and you come over we got the shower the toilet with the privacy door like i'm actually shook i'm like okay okay i see you newark you know i've been sleeping on y'all but i see you this is nice so i'm gonna go ahead and get changed ali's gonna be here in less than 10 minutes i just told her to come up to the room there's no luggage rack in either closet so i just had to use this but let's go ahead and get all warm and cozy y'all already know that's gonna be a big fat no from me but the day I was out to get you We're just getting ready to go. It's really cold outside, so we're bundling up. And we're actually gonna try to go to New York. We're trying to get to Manhattan or to the 9-11 Memorial area. So we are now at the Pennsylvania, what is it called? Uh, Penn Station. Penn Station. So I think we're gonna stop at Duncan and get some coffee, but then we are taking the path all the way to the 9-11 Memorial Center, so I think <laughs> gotta find the line. Okay, psych. As we were in line for Duncan, we saw the Starbucks and you already <laughs> knew. You already knew exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly how that was going down. <laughs> So after a lot of trial and error, as well as some help from, from definitely uh, some locals. So we have finally made it here. Now we're gonna try and get a Starbucks because the other one was closed. And then, and then walk over to the museum. Okay, so we just stopped and got some delicious, greasy pizza. You guys, it looks so good. It does look really, really good. Okay, ready? Good. Uh-huh. What you think, girly? 
Yummy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, most of the Starbucks are closed, and we asked the guy in the pizza spot about if there's a Starbucks closer to the museum that we're going to, and he said most of them are closed, but there's another coffee spot over there, so we might have to just get something else. I don't know why all the Starbucks are closed, but I think we're going to start walking over there, enjoying our pizza, and then go to the museum. Cheers. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think my double chin just fell out of my mouth. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Like you didn't trip going up the stairs. <laughs> you guys, we just slummed it for Duncan. I just went like, we're not gonna get a Starbucks, it's fine. Literally right there. Right next to us is a freaking Starbucks. We didn't see it, but Duncan it is now, so we're back. What did you say? Beggars can't be choosers, so we had yeah. to settle. Whoever but... said that was real stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is actually the new World Trade Center. All the way up there. And then this is where the memorial where the Twin Towers used to be. just to kind of be here. A mood I can't quite explain. It's just like a tragedy that affected so many lives, like so many, especially even in our industry and like had such a huge impact on how we operate and and just like a large part of us. It's, it's crazy. Like I feel like the way I'm feeling is, is very, very hard to explain, but there's also like a humbleness of actually being able to be here. So a little bit of change of plans is I didn't realize like how hard it was going to kind of be just to even see like the buildings and the landmarks that I think we're going to opt not to do the museum. I think it's just going to be like really, really somber and like kind of be a hard day as it should. This was definitely something I'm never going to forget especially to see like the height of the buildings it's it's shocking so we're gonna kind of just walk around and see what we stumble into okay so we just came into a boba shop called vv bubble tea it has like really really cute like even the packaging on the straws is adorable so i have Taro, it's always like my go-to on boba tea. And then what did you get, Emma? Japanese matcha milk tea. Mm. It's so good. I think <laughs> we're finally done shopping. As you can tell by my neck, I was freezing to death. Didn't plan to get a scarf, but had to get a scarf because I was like, I just cannot. Like, I'm layered to the gods and it's still not enough for my Texas self. I think we're gonna stop at like a ramen sushi spot. I would love to find a public restroom, but that's just, it's just really hard to do in New York. Ramen spot near us. Hopefully, hopefully they have a public restroom they're gonna let us use. Please and thank you. And the food looked delicious. It had a lot of reviews. They were really, really good. And the pictures looked really, really good. You hungry? I'm hungry. So I just wanted on record that <laughs> Ellie, Ellie just tripped and almost <laughs> ate it. Almost ate it. She had something catch her fall. So I wanted on record that I'm only one trip, but Allie is two and ran into the rail. Full speed. I'm done. I give up. It's like Allie backs herself because she ran straight into the thing. <laughs> just finished up at the ramen restaurant it was so good it was delicious it hit the spot yeah it was perfect the broth alone was just like had such like flavor and just oh, it was perfect for like a cold day so now we're back walking through Chinatown again going back to the World Trade Center to catch the line I don't know exactly what it's called start heading our way back 
How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> My <laughs> feet are killing me. But I'm also wearing Doc Martens, so who does that? Who does that? Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like literally the same. I'm just, I'm not here for it anymore. I think it's not even the walking all day that killed me. I think it was like when we sat at dinner, my knee was like bit weird, and now I'm like limping. <sighs> my body just can't take this stuff anymore. Look at the graveyard. We kind of debated. Do you use the word graveyard or like cemetery? And do you think there's a difference between the two? I feel like cemeteries are like a little bit more like respectful, whereas a graveyard is like more like creepy. Maybe that's just me. All right, we are finally headed on down with the stairs. Pray for my knee. <laughs> well, we know when it comes to these things, we always gotta let Ellie test it out first. <laughs> just give it your all, girl. I'll, be, I'll test it for us. Don't worry, I got this. Just make sure you put some power behind it. <laughs> All right, y'all excuse my hair and my crusty, dusty face, but we just got back to the room, so I think we're gonna hang out for like an hour or so before she ends up heading out so she can get ready for her trip. Okay, you guys, it's 9.38. <laughs> Allie just left. We ended up like talking and talking and talking, just losing track of time as always. But today was fabulous. It was really just like, such <laughs> nothing but class around here but it was like great the food in new york was fabulous as ever obviously i had the best company here and it is just great from start to finish my joints are definitely like killing me like my wrist is really irritated i don't know if the camera's like gonna pick it up but it's like screaming at me but honestly i feel like my knee is way worse but for now i'll just start getting ready for bed